Wrap your magnifying glass because we're about to solve a mystery. Kind of ish. The detective career in The Sims 4 is one of three playable active careers from the Get to Work expansion pack. And while the career doesn't have as many rewards as that of the scientist career, in my opinion, it is by far the most fun and ludicrous of the active careers. Let's jump into playing it. Early on in the career, the game kind of eases you into what you can do, but at the crux of it, this career is about solving crimes. Makes sense. To start solving a crime, you want to pick up a case, which you can do by clicking on the computer and selecting Get Case Assignment. After this, you'll want to scoot off to the crime scene using what I like to call the cork board of everything. Okay, the cork board of most things is more accurate, but you can also use a computer for a lot of these interactions too. When you visit a crime scene, you'll be sent to a random lot. Here, you'll want to collect evidence and there are four types you can search for. Firstly, if you see grayed out or see-through objects, you'll be able to dust them for fingerprints. Secondly, if you see people walking around the crime scene, you can chat to them to get a witness report. The final two evidence types you can collect by clicking on the ground around the lot and then selecting scan for clues, which will see a yellow pulse emit from your sim. If there are any clues nearby, they'll become visible. Then you can click on them and either take a sample or take a picture. Often you can do both and that's two more types of evidence. Once you've got all your evidence, you can get out of that crime scene, where you'll need to start processing the evidence to turn them into helpful clues, which will help you identify your suspect. For fingerprints and evidence samples, you'll want to use the chemical analyzer to analyze the evidence. Note that this can fail, but generally you'll have enough evidence to just move on to another sample. Then for the witness reports and the crime scene photos, you'll want to use a computer to cross-reference the police database. Once you've successfully interpreted some evidence, you can then head back to the corkboard of everything and start adding clues to your crime map. Once you add a clue to a crime map, you'll learn something about the suspect, whether it's something they're wearing, a trait, or their sex, or their life state. Note that in order to keep adding clues, you'll need to keep analyzing or interpreting more evidence. If the add clues option isn't available on the board of everything, then after analyzing or looking into some more evidence, it should pop up. Note that you can also use the clues you already have to try and find more clues, but this sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Also, you don't have to worry about writing down these clues to keep track of them, as they'll appear in the detective career section of your notebook. Once you have enough clues, I suggest at least five, you'll want to order an APB, also known as an all points bulletin. This essentially means you're heading out to find and arrest the suspect. It's really important to arrest the right person here as arresting the wrong person is not good for your job performance. While most of the clues are appearance related, some can be traits. If you have 500 satisfaction points, it's worth buying the observant trait, which will allow you to learn the traits of other sims instantly when meeting them. If you have a trait clue, this will help you to ensure you're arresting the right sim. If you don't have this, then you can use the get to know interaction to learn one of the sims traits. It's kind of like the budget version. Sometimes the game likes to be really annoying too and tell you your suspect is a female with blonde hair who's wearing a t-shirt and then dump you into a lot with three sims who fit that description. So traits can be very handy. Also from my experience, I found that guilty sims are often, but not always, very unhelpful when you ask them about the suspect. Once you're confident you found the sim that matches up with your clues, arrest them and you'll bring them back to the station for questioning. If you're unsure, then don't just arrest anyone. I tried arresting the wrong sim on purpose just for the sake of it, and the arrest failed. The game was like, no honey, that's not who we described, and I took a hit to my overall work performance. Also, a hot tip, or a bold tip, is that if the suspect has no visible hair, then they could technically, as far as the clues are concerned, have any hair color. Once a suspect has been arrested, you'll find the sim locked in a cell at the police station and you can click on them to start the interrogation, leading them into a small room whereby you'll have a range of unique interactions. Personally, I prefer to play the bad, slightly unhinged, a little bit bonkers cop who loves to dangle handcuffs and literally lose the plot in the room to get their confession. The glare is also a must have in my opinion too. Of course, there are other less extreme options as well, but really this is a go big or go home moment. I'm just kidding. You can be whatever cop you want to be, and I found almost all interactions will slowly bring the bar up. The bar will take a little while to fill, but it's relatively easy to do so. And once it's full, you can click on the criminal and select Get Confession. This will close the case and count towards a promotion task. To get to the top of the career, you'll eventually need to solve six cases from start to finish, plus a few little random tasks in the earlier career levels. Keep in mind that if you have evidence left over, you can use that in future cases, and it could save you a trip to another crime scene. So that's the core of the career, but solving cases isn't all there is to being promoted. 
Like all careers, you also have an overall work performance bar, and in active careers, you'll also have a daily performance bar which is split into three, with tasks that need to be completed to boost it. While at work, try and focus on the tasks the bar asks for you, and try to finish every day with at least two full bars, and ideally three for a big performance boost. There are a few more fun tasks in the detective career that you can do. One of them is going on patrol, which you will need to do a few times to advance. Here you basically get sent to a random neighborhood and you'll need to chat with civilians and find people littering or fighting and issue them citations. I will note that it's like all the angry sims in Simland come out when you're on patrol. And yes, my sim was bashed multiple times while on duty and I issued those audacious sim citations afterwards. I'm pretty sure sims bashing me also counted as chatting to civilians. So getting bashed was a big win for my work performance. Back at the police station, you may also need to chat with your co-workers or even the chief in their office or take prisoners from their cell to get their mugshot taken take their fingerprints because you got to stack that database, or even to frisk search them. You never know what you'll find. Randoms will also walk into the front office in order to file a police report, and you can help them with that too. I actually love these interactions, even though they're not largely important to the overall career, just because they're rather funny. Alas, that's a guide to the detective career in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and have an amazing day. See you later.